Hey everybody, Steve with TechSpeak here today to uh, talk to you about uh, Verizon Fios phone data TV service and how you can actually use your own uh, router instead of relying on uh, their router uh, and still have full phone data and TV service and all of its functionality. Now, uh, question number one would be why would you want to do that? Well, um, the Verizon router is not really that great of a router. Uh, the, range, the wireless range really isn't that good. Uh, it does error out a lot, uh, and you know we've seen in our experience that it does fail at some point, usually within a year. Now Verizon will replace it, but you know that's a big inconvenience for everybody, uh, and um, you know uh, uh, not something you really want to partake in. Um, there's also a lot of features, uh, some of the more advanced features. Uh, missing from this particular router because it's a very basic router that are available on the marketplace that should you be able to put in your own router you could take advantage of. So um, this is kind of going to be a step-by-step step on how you would go about doing this and before we start though you need to know a little something about how the standard Verizon Fios system is set up which I'm going to cover now. So um, all Verizon Fios systems have what's called an ONT uh, which is going to be somewhere on the outside of your house. It's going to be anywhere from a big box to, you know, a tiny little modem-sized box uh, on the inside of your house. Uh, and it's going to have two outputs coming from it. One is going to be a TV coax uh, output, and the other is going to be a computer output. The computer output in your standard installer is uh, disabled by default, and there's just going to be this coax coming out. So this is going to feed a coax splitter, which all of your set-top boxes and DVRs are connected to. Uh, and then one of the inputs on the Verizon splitter is going to be your router, uh, which you're going to plug all your network connected stuff in. So that's their standard setup. Now, a um, couple problems with this. Like I talked about before, the Verizon router isn't that great of a router. Uh, and uh, second part about why this isn't a good arrangement is they actually charge you for this 10 to $15 a month forever. So if you have the Verizon uh, Fios router service or um, phone data TV service for um, you know years on end you could be paying five six hundred dollars for this router which really isn't worth it compared to what you could get if you purchase one on your own so uh, in order to configure this the way um, that we recommend um, the first thing you're going to want to do is to call Verizon Files and say I would like to have my uh, data port on my ONT enabled now you may have to ask for that a few times because some people don't even know what this that is some people don't think it's possible, but it is. Um, you just have to get to the right person. I usually say the rule of three. So um, the third time you call back and ask the same question, you typically get uh, a helpful answer. So uh, have that enabled. Uh, and then on the other end of that, you're going to want to connect your uh, own router. As far as uh, what router to purchase, uh, it's really going to depend on your network requirements. Um, and then you can connect all your network connected devices to that. Uh, and then you would remove your Verizon router here. However, there's one problem. Uh, because this Verizon router is actually doing two things. One is it's acting as a router for all your network connected devices. But two, it's acting as a Mocha bridge. And uh, what a Mocha bridge does, or what Mocha is, it's a, a network protocol over coax. So this basically, this Verizon router uh, will take a network connection and allow all of the set-top boxes that are connected via coax to also have a network connection. Now, a sneaky little trick that Verizon Fios does is this ONT is actually capable of sending out network over the coax and not needing this at all. However, then they couldn't charge you 10 to $15 a month for it, so they disable the Mocha coming out of here, only send TV signals coming out, and thus have to put this in place to, to be the Mocha bridge to all these boxes and, of course, charge you. So um, what you want to do instead is, um, what you take this out, is you want to put back in something called a Mocha bridge, which you can find online. I know Amazon's got a couple for about 100 bucks. Uh, and then you inject that network connection back into the TV coax, uh, and um, you'll be good to go. Now, it's important to have this because um, just TV signals are coming through this coax cable to all your set-top boxes. Uh, the ONT is actually using the internet for your um, on-demand channels, uh, for your programming guide, and for your whole home DVR service. So all that functionality is going to go away uh, if, you, if you cut off this network connection to all these boxes. So this Mocha Bridge restores it, 
uh, and then you will be uh, good to go. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you're in the LA area and you have Verizon Fios service and you would like to do this so you can own your own gear, uh, please give us a call. Um, we can be reached at 855-832-4775 uh, or you can find us on the web at www.technospeakco.com. Uh, and even if you're not in the area, um, we'd be happy to help. Just give us a call on the phone. We can kind of walk you through it uh, and uh, maybe find somebody locally for you. So uh, my name is Steve. I run a Los Angeles-based home automation uh, company called Technospeak, and I'll see you in the next video.